Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on DAG. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about DAG. It's going to be a relatively quick video. I want to talk about the Constellation Network and DAG, the token, as, few, as well as a few other things. So what is Constellation? It's a layer zero built to securely process and transfer large amounts of data. This uses directed acrylic graph technology. It's the world's first distributed ledger tech for data. It has infinite scalability with its nonlinear architecture. You know, the original reason, the first reason I bought DAG is because I know the value of data. And I still look at DAG as the powerhouse of data inside of crypto. It's going to grow massively over the next few years. Big partners and used by big institutions. U.S. Department of Defense, U.S. Air Force, Amazon Web Services, Dell, Verizon, Quant Crypto Project, Helium Crypto Project, many others. Now, if you hold LCX, you should be holding DAG. Same thing as if you hold Quant. And believe it or not, DAG token is kind of utilized the same way the Quant token is utilized as well. What is DAG token? DAG is a native cryptocurrency on the Constellation's decentralized hypergraph network. It's a financial state channel where the transactions are validated by community node operators on the hypergraph. The Stargazer wallet is a Google browser extension supported by Constellation Network. The wallet supports zero transaction fee for peer-to-peer -peer transfers of DAG, allows for seamless exchange and interaction between the various state channels, nodes, and layer zero tokens and businesses on the hypergraph. Tokenomics are based on economic efficiencies applying generative calculus where global system of no arbitrage economies can be formed out of consensus protocols. But why DAG? So scarcity, limited supply of tokens, and that's one good thing. That's something that you want when you invest into crypto. Node validator rewards. Use DAG to run a node on Constellation's hypergraph protocol to validate data and transactions and receive validator rewards of DAG. Layer zero state channels project looking for liquidity will need to att attract DAG to gain use of the hypergraph network, such as Alchemy Ch Exchange. Sounds a lot like QNT. To, in order to use the network, you have to have the token. Where can I get DAG? QCoin, LCX, Stargazer Wallet, OTC, over the counter. DAG will be required to support liquidity pools for swapping on Lattice Exchange and for Layer 0 tokens that need liquidity. Lattice Exchange cross-chain liquidity and swapping requires liquidity. Similar to Uniswap requires Ethereum for swapping. Technology used for transferability, bandwidth of the network for token projects and tokenized data. You know, that's the other thing. Tokenization is really going to amp up soon. And when it does, the tokenization of data is going to be massive. It's going to add so much value to DAG. It's mind-blowing at this point because we're so early. And to have an idea of what's going to happen in the future, it's just astonishing. Because technology is moving very fast right now. DAG Chads and Chadettes, Cyberly, a Constellation flight program graduate and creator of a revolutionary Web3 anti-cheat gaming platform has launched its lead token on Uniswap. Cyberlet is changing the way the gaming industry operates by developing fair play standards and deploying elegant anti-cheat solutions using proprietary AI and cross-platform anti-cheat technology to identify and inhibit cheating in both professional and amateur online gameplay. That's going to be huge in the future, especially think of, you know, casinos and things like that. You can't have cheating happening inside of online gameplay. DAG Mainnet 2.0 will be a complete game changer. Try finding another application adding this level of real utility and value added. Advertising, media, healthcare, agriculture, DeFi, NFTs, 
gaming, B2B, to C, ERP. Healthcare is huge. There's so much data tied into that. Think about it. Every one of us are going to need healthcare in our lifetime. And all our data has to be tracked somehow, some way. Then you look at agriculture. That's another massive industry as well as media. That's why I said before, DAG is just getting started. Constellation Quest, Stargazer Wallet, and Lattice Gateway. So you could actually enter this, and it's pretty neat. So learn more about Hypergraph, the Stargazer Wallet, and Lattice Gateway by participating in this competition. Spread the word, refer friends, and embark on a journey with Constellation Network. Download the Stargazer Wallet, perform a fee-less DAG transaction using the Stargazer Wallet, Submit a DAG wallet address with a balance of at least 1,000 DAG tokens to enter the competition. I just thought I'd figure I'd share that with all of you. The DAG token is set up to capture the value of all the transactions going on in the chain. There will be a lot of transactions when Metagraphs start running. If you still think DAG is just another crypto, then you didn't learn anything in all these years. The tokenomics of DAG is also unique with the generative economics. As the network expands, the benefits of holding DAG tokens will increase. Constellation's DAG token is used to secure hypergraph bandwidth and reward node operators and is set up to capture the value of all the transactions going on in the chain. DAG tokens bind the apps built on Constellation together. So I'm going to let you listen to this because this talks about the transactions in the future. What we've learned, especially with the advent of the internet, is that you can get, you know, much faster performance not by putting everything into one big bulky box, but by splitting it amongst a thousand smaller boxes. There are roughly five billion smartphone devices in the world. When you aggregate all of that together using our protocol, you can, in theory, achieve 30 billion transactions per second. The transaction rate is a function of the number of nodes that have joined the network, uh, e to the x. Did you hear what he just said? 30 billion transactions. Think about that. That is so huge and the dag token is going to rise in value from that over time then there's some passive income thoughts so state channels will be mini economies and currently over 70 will deploy when ready so assuming you get an estimate of a hundred dollars a month from each this is seven thousand dollars a month in passive income you know i don't ever plan on selling any of my crypto in the future because there's going to be so many passive income options. You could hold all your crypto, live off all that passive income, pass your crypto down to your children. They could live off that income. Then they could pass it to their children. That's generational wealth. And only cryptocurrency can give you that. That's where we are right now. And we're so early. We're investing in these cryptocurrencies at such cheap prices right now. In a couple of years, you're going to look back and say, I can't believe I was buying this cryptocurrency at these prices back then. There's going to be people that missed out. There's going to be new people coming into crypto two, three years from now, wishing they could go back in time and buy at the prices we're buying at. That's why it's so important to diversify as well. Buy a little bit of all these cryptocurrencies because you're going to have different options on different networks. You might be able to borrow against your DAG and pay it off with p passive income you're getting from QNT or maybe LCX in the future. We don't know exactly what the future holds, but I do know this. If you invest in the right way right now, you can get life-changing money very fast. And you know, you could go and put your money in a meme coin and end up with a rug pull, lose all your cash, or you could put it into good projects, utility-driven projects, projects that will have real-world use case, game-changing use cases. DAG, like I said at the beginning of this video, I believe it's going to be the data layer of that new financial system, and that is definitely coming. 
you see what's happening with the banks right now everything's getting consolidated eventually we're going to have cbdc's roll out and that's what every country is pushing for right now they're getting everything put in place but at the same time crypto is also forming a massive network that's tying into that financial system you see it through partnerships one crypto partnering with another crypto partnering with this bank partnering with this country and we're at such an early stage we get to watch it get built from the ground up we are very early and very lucky at the same time but with that said i'm going to wrap up this video i want to thank you all for watching I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.